What's up guys, this is Chris and this is my channel, Barnon 11970 thanks for checking out my video. And we're going to continue a little bit about the mind-blowing type of videos. We'll talk a little bit more about knowing about what religion is really all about and the beauty of it that we're never told about. Now, I'm not here to tell people how to think. What I, The purpose of some of the things, and a lot of things I do, is to show you alternative viewpoints or different perspectives from the things that media, government, and schools will teach you. So this way you have a choice to see different directions instead of what an agenda is, where they say, this is the path, believe us, or else. You'll either be punished, or you'll go to hell, or you'll be taxed, or you'll get thrown in jail. So basically they say, trust us with your blind faith, or we'll punish you. Government does the same thing, because if you don't follow their rules and their laws, you go to jail. In other words, if they are not allowed to steal your money, you get in trouble for it. And religion says, follow us blind faith, do not question, and if you do, you're going to end up in a burning place that you're not going to be very happy about. That's what fear and agendas are all about. So um, I've talked in other religious videos that this has to do with the planets as above, so below. It also has to do with their inner part of your mind. That's why these are called temples. Um, there's a lot of, of research you have to do about this, but I want to show some symbolism in a movie. And there's lots of symbolism that talks about how the fact that everything outside of you is just a projection of what's inside you. In other words, when you're looking out at whatever you're looking at, it's actually in your brain. And you're not really seeing what's in front of you because it's nothing more than light entering your brain where it transfers the message from your brain. You'd have to go into um, deeper forms of science to really know about this stuff. I mean, I'm no scientist, so I can't describe it in the way a scientist that's been doing this for a while would be able to. Um, but if you look at the movie Iron Man 3, for example, and they'll give you a, what would look like just a funny part of a movie, but they're actually trying to show you this very thought. Because if you actually looked at space with a, I think it's UV spectrum, I could be mistaken, but you know how it looks like empty space? And for a long time, old science has been teaching us that there's nothing there, that in other words, there's a vacuum. Well, that's not true. Everything's connected. You know, like I said, we all come from one, so everything's actually connected. So when you actually look at space with different spectrums of light of telescopes, I think it's ultraviolet, I'm not really sure, but you'll see it looks exactly like your brain with all the cells attached with the nerve shooting impulses all over the place. In other words, it's all attached. So if you look at Iron Man 3, the part where the quote-unquote bad guy first is introduced and he goes into, um, I forget the name, Mrs. Potts, you know, played by Gwyneth Paltrow, goes into the building and starts talking to her about an invention he created. And he's talking about how he could tap into the human brain. And he tells um, Miss Potts, Gwyneth Paltrow, to stand on the table and says, I want to show you something. I'm going to attach something to your head, and it's going to show your brain. And when he presses the button, the first thing that comes up is a picture of outer space. And he says, oh, I'm sorry, wrong image. It shuts off, everybody has a good laugh. And then all of a sudden, she sh he shows the image of her brain. That wasn't a comic joke. It was made to show you where your reality comes from. It actually comes from within. And when they talk about things like, um, they're always talking about to the east of God or to the right hand of God, throwing the net to the right side of the boat. They're talking about the right hemisphere of your brain. This is the stuff that people like Illuminati and the, and the books in the Vatican all talk about. There are very smart people out there that research this stuff. There's a lot of scientists and a lot of people that spent decades reading the Bible for what it was. And it's a, it's a science book, which means they had this technologically advanced knowledge way before what we're told. Now, again, I'm not here to make people believe this stuff. Some of this stuff, if you're hearing it for the first time, 
you're going to have what's called normalcy bias where you're automatically going to dismiss something because it goes against your programming. There are not many people that are going to be ready to hear things like this. And you can tell if you're programmed and you could tell that normalcy bias is affecting you that instead of using logic and your logical part of your brain says, okay, I may not agree with it, but let me check into it. Instead, you say, oh, I hate that, or oh, this guy's a jerk, or no, there's no way, or I don't believe it. In other words, you get very defensive. That's your programming that they've dealt with all of your life, and that's their defense mechanism, keeping you away from the truth. And that's why if you look at what the Illuminati are, really are, they're the enlightened ones. It's funny how they have the word light. And I was talking to one of my subscribers. Certain things, like for example, it always goes back to Egyptian symbolism, because the Egyptians had it. The Egyptians didn't build the pyramids, they just happened to live there. It's almost like if Manhattan, all of a sudden everybody disappeared, but the buildings are still there, and for thousands of years there's no men. And then all of a sudden people come along that went underground for whatever reason, and all of a sudden discover Manhattan, because it would still be there, and they decide to move in. Just because they're there doesn't mean they built them. So you see a lot of Egyptian symbolism. And that's why, for example, when you say the word amen at the end of a prayer, you know how religion teaches you you're supposed to say amen at the end of a prayer? Well, most people don't realize that's Amun-Ra, an Egyptian sun god. It all goes back to the Egyptians. For whatever reason, they, either they got the knowledge from some other place, or they really knew what they were talking about. And that's why, for example... When you ask what time it is, in other words, you're trying to say with a sundial, what hour is it? Well, the sun god is also called Horus. So it's what, what time is Horus in the sky? What hour is it? You also have the sun god set. You know, sunset below the horizon, Horus. And when he, the, the, sun, the, the, the god set was the god of the underworld. Hades, the sun, as it gets sacrificed, going below the horizon, as appearing as to be dead, going into Hades, and arising to the, uh, of the horizon, Horus, rebirth. That's why, for example, when you see Passover, it's nothing more than the sun passing over the constellation of Aries, you know, the Lamb of God, on March 21st. It's passing over. You have the, the um, I think it's the summer solstice and the uh, equinox. The, um, the equinox and the summer solstice, they form a cross. Or it's, or it's that and the galactic... Um, Equator. I forget the one, but there are two of them that merge and they form a cross. Uh, so this is stuff people need to know. This is the stuff they don't want you to know. This is the stuff they want you to emotionally dismiss and automatically dismiss it instead of checking into it. And that's why you will see, in the, especially in this country, the United States Corporation, look at how many Egyptian symbols we have in government. Look at your dollar bill. Look at the pyramid. Look at all the Egyptian symbols everywhere. They're telling you who their gods are. So when you're in church and you say Amen, you're actually praying to an Egyptian god, Amun-Ra. You're saying Amun, Amen. That's why the time, it's what hour is it? In other words, what time is the sun in the sky? Horus. What hour? Horus, hour. It's all in the name. Which I also find funny because um, it was either Set or Horus was married to Isis. You know the Ankh, the Egyptian symbol where it's kind of like this, and then it looks like there's a cross underneath it. It's kind of hard to do that with fingers, but it's kind of like that symbol. But it's kind of like, actually it's more like this with a cross. Actually, something like that would kind of be what the Ankh is. Well, that's supposed to be a phallic symbol. What happens is, supposedly, uh, yeah, this is what it was. It was Horus was married to Isis, and Set was jealous. So he went to destroy 
Horus and cut him up to thousands of pieces and threw him in the ocean. And Isis came along and found the body, but found everything but his phallus. So she created the golden phallus. And that's what that Egyptian Ankh symbol is. It's actually the god's penis. I know that sounds strange, but that's actually the story. You could look it up. And that's why, if you look at the country Israel, is Ra El. Is for Isis, Ra for the sun god Ra, and El, I think, is another word for sun. They're trying to tell you these things hidden in plain sight, and you'll never see it. But look at your dollar. Look at all the columns in the governments and how much Egyptian symbols we have. They're trying to tell you who their god is. These are things they don't want you to know about, and these are the things you should learn. Because they're, keep it, they're trying to make you separate from God, not realizing you're part of God, and the universe is within you. That's why you ever saw like the Simpsons episode, where they show, all of a sudden they show Simpsons brain, and they start pulling out and pulling out, then all of a sudden they show space, and they pull out even further, they show the, our solar system, then they pull out further, they show our galaxy, they pull out further, they come back, right back out of his head again. They're trying to tell you where everything is. Just we never knew it. Because we haven't been told. Thanks for watching. Peace.